Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Ghost, and she spake out with a loud voice and said, Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb. And why is this to me that the mother of my Lord shall come to me? For lo, as soon as the voice of thy salutation sounded in my ears, the babe leaped in my womb for joy, and blessed is she that believed, and there shall be a performance of those things which were told her from the Lord. And Mary said, My soul doth magnify the Lord, and my spirit hath rejoiced in God my Savior, for he hath regarded the lowest state of his handmaiden, for behold, from henceforth all generations shall call me blessed, for he that is mighty hath done to me great things, and holy is his name. of 
Road Low and the Crooked shall be made straight and the rough ways shall be made smooth and all flesh shall see the salvation of God. Then said he to the multitude that came forth to be baptized of him, O generation of vipers, who hath warned you to flee from the wrath to come? Bring forth therefore fruits worthy of repentance, and begin not to say within yourselves, We have Abraham to our fathers, for I say unto you, that God is able of these stones to raise up children unto Abraham, and now also the axe is laid unto the root of the trees. Every tree, therefore, which bringeth not forth good fruit is owned down and cast into the fire. And the people asked him, saying, What shall we do then? And he answered and said unto them, Them, he that hath two goats, let him impart to him that hath not. He that hath meat, let him do likewise. Then came also publicans to be baptized, and said unto him, Master, what shall we do? And he said unto them, Exact or collect no more than that which is appointed you. And the soldiers likewise demanded of him, saying, And what shall we do? And he said unto them, Do violence to no man, neither accuse any falsely, and be content with your wages. And as the people were in expectation, and all men mused in their hearts of John, whether he were the Christ or not, answering, saying unto them, All, I indeed baptize you with water, but one mightier than I cometh, the latchet of whose shoes I am not worthy to unloose. He shall baptize you with the Holy Ghost and with fire. His fan is in his hand. And he will thoroughly purge his floor, and will gather the wheat into his barn or garner. But the chaff he will burn with fire, unquenchable. And many other things in his exhortation preached he unto the people. But Herod, the patriarch, being reproved by him, for Herodias, his brother Philip's wife, and for all the evils which Herod had done, added yet this above all, that he shut up John in prison. And now, when all the people were baptized, it came to pass that Jesus, also being baptized and praying, the heaven was opened, and the Holy Ghost Descended in a bodily shape like a dove upon him, and a voice came from heaven which said, Thou art my beloved Son, in thee I am well pleased. And Jesus himself began to be about thirty years of age, being, as was supposed, the son of Joseph which was the son of Eli, which was the son of Matt, which was the son of Levi, which was the son of Melchi, which was the son of Jana, which was the son of Joseph, which was the son of Matthias, which was the son of Amos, which was the son of Nahum, which was the son of 
saying, let us alone. What have we to do with thee, thou Jesus of Nazareth? Art thou come to destroy us? For I know thee who thou art, the Holy One of God. And Jesus rebuked him, saying, hold thy peace and come out of him. And when the devil had thrown him in the midst, he came out of him and hurt him not. And they were amazed and spake among themselves, saying, what a word is this! With authority and power he commanded the unclean spirits, and they come out. And the report about him went out into every place of the country round about. And he rose out of the synagogue and entered into Simon's house. And Simon's wife's mother was taken with a great fever, and they besought him for her. And he stood over her and rebuked the fever, and it left her. And immediately she arose and administered unto them. Now when the sun was setting, all they that had any sick of divers diseases brought them unto him, and he laid hands on every one of them. And he held them, and devils also came out of many, crying out and saying, Thou art Christ, the Son of God. And he rebuked them, suffering them not to speak, for they knew that he was Christ. And when it 
ships to land, they forsook all and followed him. And it came to pass, when he was in a certain city, behold, a man full of leprosy, who seeing Jesus, fell on his face and besought him, saying, Lord, if thou wilt, thou canst make me clean. And he put forth his hand and touched him, saying, I will be thou clean, and immediately the leprosy departed from him. And he charged him to tell no man, but go and shew thyself to the priest, and offer for thy cleansing according as Moses commanded, for a testimony unto them. But so much the
Messenger. 
Jesus. And he sent them to preach the kingdom of God and to heal the sick. And he said unto them, Take nothing for your journey, neither staves or staffs, nor surcript or bag, neither bread, neither money, neither have two goats a piece. And whatsoever house ye enter into there, abide, and thence depart. And whosoever will not receive you, when you go out of that city, shake off the dust from your feet for a testimony against them. And they departed and went through the towns preaching the gospel and healing everywhere. Now Herod, the patriarch, heard of all that was done by him, and he was perplexed. Because it was said of some that John was risen from the dead. And of some that Elias had appeared. And of others that one of the old prophets had risen again. And Herod said, John have I beheaded. But who is this of whom I hear such things? And he desired to see him. And the apostles, when they were returned, told him all that they had done. And he took them and went aside privately into a desert place belonging to the city called Bethsaida. And the people, or multitudes, when they knew it, followed him. And he received them, and spake unto them of the kingdom of God, and healed them that had need of healing. And when the day began to wear away, then came the twelve, and said unto him, Send the multitudes away, that they may go into the towns and country round about, and lodge, and get provisions, for we are here in a desert place. But he said unto them, Give ye them to eat. And they said, We have no more but five loaves and two fishes. Except we should go and buy meat for all this people. For they were about five thousand men. And he said to his disciples, Make them sit down by fifties in a group. group. And they did so and made them sit down. Then he took the five loaves and two fishes, and looking up to heaven, he blessed them, and brake, and gave to the disciples to set before the multitude. And they did eat, and were all filled, and they were taken up, and there was taken up fragments that remained to them, twelve baskets. And it came to pass, as he was alone praying, his disciples were with them, and he asked them, saying, Who say the people that I am? They answering said, John the Baptist, but some say Elias, and others say, that one of the old prophets has risen again. He said unto them, But whom say ye that I am? Peter answering said, The Christ of God. And he straightly charged 
receive me, receiveth him that sent me. For he that is least among you all, the same shall be great. And John answered and said, Master, we saw one casting out devils in thy name, and we forbade him, because he followeth not us. And Jesus said unto him, Forbid him not, for he that is not against us is with us. And it came to pass, when the time was come that he should be received up, he steadfastly set his face to go to Jerusalem, and sent messengers before his face. And they went and entered into a village of the Samaritans to make ready for him. And they did not receive him, because his face was as though he would go to Jerusalem. And when his disciples, James and John, saw this, they said, Lord, Wilt thou that we command fire to come down from heaven and consume them, even as Elias did? But he turned and rebuked them and said, Ye yo know not what manner of spirit ye are of. For the Son of Man is not come to destroy men's lives, but to save them. And they went to another village. And it came to pass that as they went into the village of a certain man, said unto him, Lord, I will follow thee whithersoever thou goest. And Jesus said unto him, Foxes have holes, and birds of the air have nests. But the Son of Man hath not where to lay his head. And he said unto another, Follow me. But he said, Lord, suffer me first to go and bury my father. And Jesus said unto him, Let the dead bury the dead. But go thou and preach the kingdom of God. And another also said, Lord, I will follow thee. But first, but let me first go bid them farewell, which are at home at my house. And Jesus said unto him, no man, having put his hand to the plow and looking back, is fit for the kingdom of God. Chapter 10 After these things, the Lord appointed other seventy also and sent them to and do before his face into every city and place whither he himself would come. Therefore he said unto them, The harvest truly is great, but the laborers are few. Pray ye therefore the Lord of the harvest, that he would send forth laborers into the harvest. Go your ways. Behold, I send you forth as lambs among wolves, carry neither purse, nor script, or bag, nor shoes, and salute, or greet no man by the way, and into whatsoever house ye enter first to say, Peace be to this house, and if the son of the peace be there, your peace shall rest upon it. Shall turn to you again, and in the same house remain eating and drinking such things as they give, for the laborer is worthy of his hire. Go not from house to house, and in whatsoever city ye enter, and they receive you, eat such things as are set before you. And heal the sick that are therein, and say unto them, The kingdom of God is come nigh unto you. But in whatsoever city ye enter, and they receive you not, go your ways out into the streets of the same, and say, Even the very dust of your city, which cleaveth or clings to us, we do wipe off against you, notwithstanding. Be ye sure of this, that the kingdom of God is come nigh unto you. But I say unto you, 
shall be more tolerable in that day for Sodom than for that city. Woe unto thee, Jerusalem! Woe unto thee, Bethsaida! For if the mighty works had been done in Tyre and Sidon, which have been done with, done in you, they had a great while ago repented, sitting in sackcloth and ashes. But it shall be more tolerable for Tyre and Sidon at the judgment than for you. And thou, Caponium, which art exalted, shall be thrust down to hell or Hades. He that heareth you heareth me, and he that despiseth you despiseth me, and he that despiseth me despiseth him that sent me. And the seventy returned again with joy, saying, Lord, even the devils are subject unto us, through thy name. And he said unto them, I beheld Satan as lightning fall from heaven. Behold, I give unto you power to tread on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy. And nothing shall by any means hurt Notwithstanding in this rejoice, not that the spirits are subject unto you, but rather rejoice because your names are written in heaven. And in that hour, Jesus rejoiced in spirit and said, I thank thee, O Father of heaven and earth, that thou hast hid these things from the wise and prudent and has revealed them unto babes. Even so, Father, for so it seemed good in thy sight. All things are delivered to me of my Father, and no man knoweth who the Son of Man is but the Father, and who the Father is but the Son, and he to whom the Son will reveal him. And he turned him unto his disciples, and said privately, Blessed are the eyes which see the things that ye see. For I tell you that many prophets and kings have desired to see these things which ye see, and have not seen them. And to hear those things which ye hear, and have not heard them. And behold, a certain lawyer stood up and tempted him, saying, Master, what shall I do to inherit eternal life? He said unto him, What is written in the law? How readest thou? And he answering said, Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul and with all thy strength and with all thy mind and thy neighbor as thyself. And he said unto them, Thou hast answered right this do, and thou shalt live. But he, wanting to justify himself, said unto Jesus, And who is my neighbor? And Jesus, answering, said, A certain man went down from Jerusalem to Jericho, and fell among thieves or robbers, which stripped him of his raiment or clothing, and wounded him, and departed, leaving him half dead. And by chance there came down a certain priest that way, and when he saw him, he passed by on the other side. And likewise a Levite, when he was at the place, came and looked on him, and passed by on the other side. But a certain Samaritan, as he journeyed, came where he was, and saw him, and had compassion on him, and went to him, and bound or bandaged up his wounds, pouring in oil and wine, and set him on his own 
Triple B not. The door is now shut, and my children are in bed. I cannot rise and give thee. I say unto you, though he will not rise and give thee, because he is his friend. Yet because of his persistence, he will rise and give them as many as he needeth. And I say unto you, ask, and it shall be given you. Seek, and ye shall find. Knock, and it shall be opened unto you. For every one that asketh, receiveth, and he that seeketh, findeth. And to him that knocketh, it shall be opened. If a son shall ask bread of any of you that is his father, will he give him a stone? Or if he ask a fish, will he for a fish give him a serpent? Or if he shall ask an egg, will he give him a scorpion? If ye them, being evil, know how to give good gifts unto your children, how much more shall your heavenly Father give the Holy Spirit to them that ask? And he was casting out a devil, and it was dumb or mute. And it came to pass when the devil was gone out, the mute spake, and the people wondered. But some of them said, He casteth out devils through Beelzebub, the chief of the devils, and others, testing him, sought of him a sign of heaven. But he, knowing their thoughts, said unto them, Every kingdom divided against itself is brought to desolation, and a house divided against a house falleth. If Satan also be divided against himself, how shall his kingdom stand? Because ye say that I cast out demons through Beelzebub. And if I say, by Beelzebub, cast out devils, by whom do your sons cast them out? Therefore shall they be your judges. But if I, with the finger of God, cast out devils, no doubt the kingdom of God has come upon you. When a strong man armed keepeth his palace, his goods are in peace. But when he is stronger than he shall come upon him and overcome him, he taketh from him all his armor, wherein he trusted, and divideth his spoils. He that is not with me is against me, and he that gathereth not with me scattereth. When an unclean spirit is gone out of a man, he walketh through dry places, seeking rest and finding a none. He saith, I will return to my home whence I came out, and when he cometh, he findeth it swept and garnished. Then goeth he and taketh to him seven other spirits more wicked than himself, and they enter in and dwell there in the last state of that 
so much that they drove one upon another. He began to say unto his disciples, First of all, Beware ye of the leaven of the Pharisees, which is hypocrisy. For there is nothing covered that shall not be revealed, neither hid that shall not be known. Therefore, whatsoever ye have spoken in darkness shall be heard in the light. And that which ye have spoken in the air of the inner rooms shall be proclaimed upon the housetops. And I say unto you, my friends, be not afraid of them that kill the body, and after that they have no more that they can do. But I will forewarn you, whom ye shall fear, fear him, which after he hath been killed, hath power to cast into hell. Much goods laid up for 
which is today in the field, and tomorrow is cast into the oven. How much more will he clothe you, O ye of little faith? And to seek not ye what ye shall eat, or what ye shall drink, neither be ye doubtful mind. For all these things do the nations of the world seek after, and your father knoweth that ye have needs of these things, but rather seek ye the kingdom of God, and all of these things shall be added unto you. Fear not, little flock, for it is your father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. Sell that ye have, and give alms, provide yourselves bags, which wax not old, or do not grow old, and treasure in the heavens that faileth not, where no thief approacheth, neither moth corrupteth, for where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. Let your loins be girded about, and your lights burning, and ye yourselves like unto men that wait for their Lord. When he overturneth from the wedding, that when he cometh and knocketh, they may open unto him immediately. Blessed are those servants of the Lord, when he cometh, shall find watching verily, I say unto you, that he shall gird himself, and make them to sit down to eat, or to eat, and will come forth and to serve them. And if he shall come in the second watch, or come in the third watch, and find them so, blessed are those servants. And this know, that if the good man of the house had known the hour the thief would come, he would have watched, and not have suffered his house to be broken through or into. But he therefore ready also for the Son of Man cometh at an hour when ye think not. Then Peter said unto him, Lord, speaketh thou this parable unto us, or even at all, or even to all, meaning all people? And the Lord said, Who then is that faithful and wise steward whom the Lord shall make ruler over the household to give them their portion of meat in due season? Blessed is the servant whom his Lord when the cometh shall find so doing. Of a truth I say unto you, that he will make him ruler over all that he hath. But, and if that servant say in his heart, My Lord delayeth his coming, and shall begin to beat the men's servants and maidens, and to eat and drink and be drunken, them the Lord of that servant will come in a day when he looketh not for him, in an hour when he is not aware, and will cut him in slander, and appoint him his portion with the unbelievers. And that servant which knew the Lord's will, and prepared himself, prepared not himself, neither did, according to his will, shall be beaten with many stripes. But he that knew not, and did commit things worthy of stripes, shall be beaten with few stripes. For unto whomsoever much is given, of him shall be much required. And to whom a man have committed much, of him they will ask the more. I am come to send fire on the earth, and what will I if it be already kindled? But I have a baptism to be baptized with, and how am I straightened it till it be accomplished, till it be accomplished? Suppose ye that I come to give peace to the earth, I tell ye, nay, but rather division. For from henceforth there shall be five in one household divided, three against two, and two against three, and the father shall be divided against the son, and the son against the father, and the mother against the daughter, and the daughter against the mother, and the mother in 
against the mother-in-law. And he said also to the people, When ye see a cloud rise out of the west, straightway ye say, There cometh a shower, and so it is. And when ye see the south wind blow, ye say, There will be heat, and it cometh to pass. Ye hypocrites, ye can discern the face of the sky and of the earth, but how is it that ye do not discern this time? Yeah, and why even of yourselves judge ye not what is right? When thou goest with thine adversary to the magistrate, as thou art in the way, give diligence that thou mayest be delivered from him, lest he hail thee to the judge, and the judge deliver thee to the officer, and the officer cast thee into prison. And I tell thee, thou shalt not depart thence till thou hast paid the very last might.
Why does it use up or waste space? And he answering said unto him, Lord, let it alone this year also, till I shall dig about it and dung it. And if it bear fruit well, and if not, then after that shalt thou cut it down. And he was teaching in the synagogues on the Sabbath. And behold, there was a woman which had a spirit of infirmity eighteen years. And it was bowed together or bent over, and could in no wise lift or raise up herself. And when Jesus saw her, he called her to him, and said unto her, Woman, thou art loosed from thine infirmity. And he laid his hands on her, and immediately she was made straight and glorified God. And the ruler of the synagogue answered with indignation, because Jesus had healed on the Sabbath, and said unto the people, There are six days in which men ought to work, in them therefore come and be healed, and not on the Sabbath. The Lord then answered him and said, Thou hypocrite, doth not each one of you on the Sabbath loose his ox or his ass from the stall and lead him away to watering? And ought not this woman, being a daughter of Abraham, whom Satan hath bound, lo, these eighteen years, be loosed from this bond on the Sabbath day? And when he had said these things, all his adversaries were ashamed. And all the people rejoiced for all the glorious things that were done by him. Then he said unto, What is the kingdom of God like? And whereunto shall I resemble it? It is like a grain of mustard seed. Which a man took and cast into his garden, and it grew and waxed, or became a great tree, and the fowls of the air lodged or nested of it, and the branches of it. And again he said, Whereunto shall I liken the kingdom of God? It is like the leaven or yeast which a woman took and hid in the measures of a meal till the whole was leavened. And he went through the cities and the villages, teaching and journeying through Jerusalem, and said one unto him, Lord, are there few that be saved? And he said unto them, Strive to enter in at the straight or narrow gate, for many, I say unto you, will seek to enter it, and shall not be able. When once the master of the house is risen up, and hath shut the door, and he began to stand without, and to knock at the door, saying, Lord, Lord, open unto us, and he shall answer and say unto you, I know you not whence ye are. And then shall you begin to say, We have eaten and drunk in thy presence, and thou hast taught in our streets. But he shall say, I tell you, I know you not whence ye are. Depart from me, all ye workers of iniquity, and there shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth when ye shall see Abraham and Isaac and Jacob and all the prophets in the kingdom of God in you.
yourselves thrust out, and they shall come from the east and from the west and from the north and from the south and shall sit down in the kingdom of God and behold there are last which shall be first and there are first which shall be last the same day there came certain of the Pharisees saying unto him Get thee out, and depart hence, for Herod will kill thee. And he said unto them, Go ye, and tell that fox, Behold, I cast out devils, and I do cures today, and tomorrow, and on the third day, I shall be perfected. Nevertheless, I must walk today and tomorrow in the day following, for it cannot be that a prophet perish out of Jerusalem. O Jerusalem, Jerusalem, which killest the prophets and stonest them that are sent unto thee, how often would I have gathered thy children together, as a hen doth gather her brood under her wings. And ye would not. Behold, your house is left unto you desolate. And verily I say unto you, Ye shall not see me until the time come. When ye shall say, Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord.
and thou makest a dinner or a supper, call not thy friends nor thy brethren, neither thy kinsmen nor thy rich neighbors, lest they also bid or invite you back again, and a recompense be made thee. But when thou makest a feast, call the poor, the mean,
his father saw him. And had compassion on him. Resolved what to do. That when I am put out of the stewardship, they may receive me into their houses. So he called every one of his lord's debtors unto him, and said unto the first, How much owest thou unto my lord? And he said, A hundred measures of oil. And he 
saying 
shall these things be? And what signs will there be when these things shall come to pass?
Chief. 